Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Tech. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to add custom materials to Valorant agents in Blender. So for this one, we're going to be focusing on gold, which is a nice reflective material, but I'm going to show you the quickest workflow to make sure you can select different parts of the body. So let's hop right into it. All right. So now that we have Blender open, I'm going to open a program called Pure Ref, which is going to help me a lot here. So this just displays a little overlay on top of your screen. And I'm just going to go into my downloads here and put a picture in so I have this picture of KO that I took a screenshot from the the guards 2022 Valorant team trailer and so we're going to work towards making this so I'm just going to select everything here with a and delete it with x and enter and we're going to append our KO model so here we are KO collection Katuza. I'm using the Katuza pack uh, I'll put a link in the description for that as well you can also decompile the models using view model but I'm not going to make a tutorial for that so just hiding our bones, we can see obviously this part right here is gold. And so is this one, as well as like the dog tags, the face, uh, as well as the knuckles and parts of his arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on UV editing and we're just going to move this over so we can change the view so we can see this. And I'm going to turn off the bones once again to make it easier to select things. So what we're going to do, select RKO here, just the mesh change object mode to edit mode and i don't like working with vertices so i'm going to change this to face mode right here so here's what i'm going to do i can see right here this chest piece it needs to be gold so i'm just going to hover over it and press l on my keyboard that's going to select all the linked faces which you can see right here on the normal map when i press l it'll select this right side as well so I can see from this down here that these two parts are gold. Dog tags are gold, so I'm just going to press L. You don't even have to hold shift. It just will add it to your current selection. I can see here the chin and the little buttons here are also gold. Uh, we have the shoulder or this little arm piece right here is also gold. We're just going to select all of that. Just like the ones on the back too. These pieces look gold to me. Go. For some of them, when you press L, it'll select the entire part. So like right here, it would even select the blue, which we don't want. So for that, we'd have to manually select it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all these pieces because they look like they're part of what needs to be changed. And I'm going to go to the fingers. I'm going to select the knuckles. There we go. I'm just going to do that for each finger. I accidentally missed that one. So I'm going to do that. There we go. And the thumb. Little piece right here. Now, you can see these little buttons here. We need to select those. But if you press L, it'll select the entire hand part. So we're just going to hold shift and drag. And then we're going to hold shift and drag again for all these different parts and just fine tune it by holding shift and just clicking in all of these new faces because we want these to be our new material, which in this case is gold. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all these. It can take a while depending on what model and how many faces there are, but I mean, the better selection you do, the better it's going to look. And a lot of times you'll end up noticing little imperfections after you do the whole thing. So thankfully, uh, you can just go in and apply the material to any faces you missed. But we're just going to make sure we're pretty thorough here. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I accidentally selected those. so I can just hold shift and click those out. And there we go. That's looking pretty nice. I think that's about what we'd want for this. So. Uh, all we have to do is on this right side here, with this model still selected, we click on material properties. We're going to add one up here, adding a new material slot. We're going to click new and I am going to name this gold and we're going to assign the texture. Now, just like that, you can immediately see that all of these faces turn white and they're no longer part of the original texture. So if we hop over to our shading tab here, we can see they're just completely white and you can see here this gold material is selected so i'm going to change this i'm going to delete this principled bsdf and we're going to add a glossy bsdf because i want to make this gold so i'm just going to hook this right into the surface i'm going to change the color to something around the gold area i think that looks pretty close 
make it a little bit brighter and then you can just turn your roughness down and just like that you'll get a really shiny nice looking gold however we have lost a lot of details from the normal map like you can see right here there's like this big x on the chest plate but here you don't have that so what we're gonna do we're going to press shift a and add a normal map we're gonna hook that into our normal and we're going to go to our original texture which is this tp grenadier s0 we're going to select our normal map and we're going to copy it with either control c or right click copy go back to this gold here and we're going to paste it and we're just going to hook this color into the color node and you can see right away we get that x back uh, and we also gain details on the face you can see when i unhook this that triangle disappears that we have up here but when i change it back You'll notice it immediately and if you want this to be a lot deeper you can also just change the strength of the normal map so you can turn that up and it will be a lot like harder uh, a lot lot more like tough edges but i prefer to keep it fairly low so i'm gonna keep it at one and just like that you have your ko that's looking pretty good now you can see for the rest of this model obviously they painted it purple because it's in the style of the guard so we would just go into our texture paint and change that up. I have another tutorial on my channel that thank you guys for blowing it up. It has like over 2000 views right now. So I'm really appreciative for that. Uh, so you would add in that tutorial with this one and you would just uh, change this to the diffuse and you'd go in with your color brush, change it to purple or a similar color and just start kind of painting over things. So. So if we want to see what this looks like fully rendered out, we can go ahead and add some things. So I'm going to add in a nice area light. I'm also going to add a camera. Just press control alt zero and move this camera around here. I'm going to change the rendering mode to cycles, make it 128 or 24. That's usually my go to for pictures. I like to do 1024 samples Change the GPU compute and make sure the noise is on. So we hit it with the render see it start to come in so since there's no reflectivity and there's nothing for it to reflect we can add an hdri by the way just an editor's note uh, you can find a lot of hdris on hdri haven it's a website i'll put that in the description too but there's plenty of tutorials for how to add hdri so i'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead all right so now that we have our hdri in here it's gonna look a lot nicer now that we actually have our reflections and you can also make this whatever you want. I'm using a plugin to do this, but you can also just do it through your shading tab and change this to world. And for mine, this is my setup. Um, you just have this 4K EXR to the background, just like that. Simple enough. Uh, I have a plugin that does it for me, but you can also do it manually. There's plenty of tutorials online for it. So you can see that the reflection will now reflect what's in the background. And so if we change this, of course, we can get different looking reflections because it's so shiny. And if we think this is too shiny for us, uh, we can go and select our KO model. Go back here, go to our shading, and just from world to object and go to gold. And we can just turn this roughness up a little bit. And when you turn the roughness up, it's going to make it a lot less shiny. So I think like here might be a good medium. So if we just render that out, we go the denoise comes through. So it's a lot less reflective and a lot less shiny, but you get this really nice look and it is pretty similar to the guard's thumbnail. Uh, of course, you can do this with any material you want. You could even replace it with like a concrete texture, wood, uh, anything you want, find online, even water, ice. If you want to make your own custom agent skins, just adding cool materials can really go a long way. So we just added some gold to KO pretty quickly here. Uh, and hopefully this is really helpful to you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for blowing up my last video too. Uh, if you guys want any more tutorials or on anything specific, feel free to leave a comment, uh, drop a subscription, and I appreciate you guys. I'll see you later. Peace.